Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. We've been doing a lot of anime music on the channel lately, and I got to say, I've been loving it, so we're going to keep doing it. We just got done doing the openings for, we did a musical analysis for the openings of Attack on Titan. Love that. Watching the show now. Really cool. Uh, there were some requests for Cowboy Bebop. I've never seen the show, but I do know the song Tank because I've had to play it multiple times. I played it in college jazz band quite a few times. I played it when I was uh, doing music on cruise ships. And I've also got to play it in uh, community big band. So pretty familiar with the piece. Love the piece. But the reason we're going to do it is because someone brought up. They said, hey, by the way, the Blue Devils are doing Tank in their field show right now. And I was like, oh, really? And you're probably saying, well, Tony, what's the Blue Devils? Okay, I'll just give you a 10-second explanation. In the United States, we have a thing called Drum and Bugle Corps. Basically, it's like com the highest level of um, competitive field shows. You don't call them bands. They are drum corps. But we'll just call it a band in this, in this situation because that's layman terms. Basically, competitive marching bands that uh, take themselves very seriously. I did this activity. I love the activity. I'm a big fan. I'm actually going to go see this group next month in August. And um, part of their show this year is Tank. So I think it's only right that we do this. And uh, yeah, I'll, we'll do the real tune. And then I'll, I, I'll give you a little snippet of uh, one of their preview videos when they have their, like, their preseason so you can see what it looks like on the field. All right, let's get into it. So rude, man. I think it's time to blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Alright, we'll we'll listen to this horn intro again here. Alright, so the intro of the piece, man, the bass line is just iconic. And I'm a bassist, by the way. I mean I play percussion, obviously. The name is Drumroll Tony, but my in this setting, in like jazz band, big band setting, I'm always playing bass. Like, uh, that's a really fun bass line to play. It's, you know, it's super chill. It's extremely groove uh, bass, and it's just, you know, it's the foundation, man. It's 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 a good place to be. All right, sorry, hold on. I got to, let's go back here. Oh, almost, 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 almost. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Uh, man, such a great horn lick. And, you know, the, the song is the blues. It's it's over three chords, the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. I mean, you can hear that. Like, the lick is very accessible. But uh, it's great. It's such good writing and uh, super fun to jam out to. That uh, The auxiliary percussion parts are <laughs> a really good time. Uh, the trumpet players are screaming. Let's. I just want to hear the little hits again. Let's go back 10 seconds. Uh, such a great transition to hear that Wah! on the organ there man it's so good let's get back into that just screaming brass player That, that little middle section, sorry, I know I just interrupted the really high trumpet parts there. That little middle section, though, is such a good, it's rel, it's, the music is related, but, you know, at least the bass player gets a little variety there. And uh, we have a little bit of, um, we just venture outside of stri the strict blues uh, chord progression there just to get a little bit of variety. <laughs> Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Um, 
the groove is pretty solid, you know, and it's all like, um, uh, cookie cutter. Like, you know, you, this is a chart you sit down, you know, if you're in the rhythm section, you're like, well, thank God I just have to play my part. And you kind of look at the brass section. You're like, good luck. <laughs> That's it's a very demanding part where we're, we're kind of just sitting back and playing in the pocket and you know, our parts are like repetitive. So that's cool. Um, there is that one set, that trumpet section. Um, I've already lost the rhythmic figure. I was going to stop for a second and sing it out, but, uh, the drum kit lines up perfectly with it. So that was cool. But everything else is pretty so far. just like, you know, we are, we are in the pocket here. Let's uh, get into this transition. <laughs> You hear how tight the ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, the backgrounds behind the sax solo are? That was nasty in a in a good way. That's a, okay, so as a soloist, you know, the sax player, they got to be, the band isn't going anywhere. Generally, like sometimes when solos start, you know, everyone, you know, we take the, the vibe and bring it down and create a different mood. So the soloists kind of dictate where it goes and we build a crescendo with them. So each time there's contour and there's like breathing happening. I don't, figuratively, like, you know, there's, there's shape, sorry, the shape of the soloist. This one, it's like a 10 the whole way. And those brass backgrounds, that second time, I made a comment about the first one. That second time when it was kind of like a little spaced out, like rhythmic figure that was a little bit fell over the bar line. They're playing loud and then everything come back, comes back in again and they're still taking the soul over that. So that's a, it's pretty, it's intense. All right, let's finish it out here. <laughs> That's a great coda. Well, great ending, especially that. That's super staccato and in your face. Um, okay. This is so loud. My God, it is so loud. Let's catch the last 15 here. Hopefully we can get that whole ending, uh, the little difference in the music. I didn't go back far enough. Sorry. Cool phrasing, boo. Ba ba oh ah uh, oh ah. Uh. Almost like a tomb bow bass line. Tomb bows are like salsa bass lines. Um, we won't get too much into that because that gets a little complicated for just our average listeners that are interested in, in anime reaction videos. Uh, great piece of music. Great arrangement. Very very famous. Um, you know, it's cool to have like you know actual big band stuff like the instrumentation for big. So okay, for those of you that maybe you know you don't have a musical background, like generally the instrumentation in a big band. And it's not, the name big band does not mean a band that is large. It's just it's what we call like a jazz band, a big band, a stage band. Generally, we have a trumpet section, a trombone section, uh, saxophones. Sometimes there's some saxophone players that double on flute and clarinet. And always a rhythm section. So we have piano, bass, sometimes guitar, sometimes not guitar. And this one, yeah, you can hear like electronic keys. You know, or Sorry, we have an organ player. Uh, there's a lot of like, you know, um, variations of what could go on. 
But primarily, you've got your brass melting your face off. You know, you got your five players back there. And, you know, we have a lot of lead players in this group here because you can hear a lot of lead trumpet parts that are just screaming. Everyone in the band probably, you know, everyone's got chops. So uh, it's pretty cool. So anyway, when you're, you know, you're walking around and hear someone say big band, this is more the style of what they're referring to. And within that genre, anything else that you're familiar with and you can like name subgenres, we can do the same thing with big band and jazz band and the history of it and all the different eras and the styles and what goes on. But that's way too much information for just a basic reaction video. So <laughs> hopefully that was informative to you. So sweet. Uh, yeah, I'm glad we did this. This was cool. Now we need to look. We need to take a look at the Blue Devils, though, playing a little bit of it. So let's take a look at that. All right, we're on the YouTube channel HL, but it looks like they've just uh, lifted video from the Blue Devils' official YouTube site. So BD, if you come in here, uh, we're not trying to infringe on your copyright or anything like that. We're just, it's an educational video showing the value of uh, when anime makes transitions from, a, you know, the soundtrack of a TV show to the field when it's a competitive uh, field show. So that's what the goal is here. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. Okay, three, two, one, it's time. Wow. All right. So you can clearly see and hear this translates really well from big band to drum and bugle core to a, a competitive field show. So we're going to call the core the band just for now for, you know, just to make it sim more simple. So the band has no woodwinds on the field. This is only brass and there is marching drum line on the field. So, and you can see color guard, which all like the rifles spinning around and all the cool dancing going on. And on the front of the field with the front ensemble, which is basically the pit. Uh, which primarily consists of like marimbas, vibes, auxiliary percussion, lots of cymbals, gongs, electronic. There's a lot of electronics and drum corps now up in the front. And it's a great translation. It, it goes from the original to this really well. And keep in mind, this group has like, you know, top talent and also top staff, like the arranging, the brass arranging, the percussion arranging. It's all like super high end music uh, individuals that are involved in the marching arts forever. So. This is going to be amazing in person. I can't wait to see it in August. I'm going to the finals competition. Now, keep in mind, this video here is just, it's a rehearsal that they made for their preview from a while ago. It's like at least, you know, a month and a half old. This show is a hundred times cleaner already. And in August will be immensely clean. It's just going to be, I can't wait to see it live. So uh, at least you can get like a little, if you didn't know what drum core was, you can get a little snippet and it gets much more in depth than what we just talked about. It is its own it is its own cult with a huge following and a very, very, uh, yeah, you know what? It's not even worth going into in a reaction video. J just know that drum core is a very serious thing and it's, it's taken very seriously by those who partake in it. So hopefully you found that interesting and I highly recommend you go on YouTube. Just look up, look up blue devils, horn line, blue devils, drum line, go to the blue devils webpage, check out what they're doing. And that will inevitably lead you to other drum and bugle core stuff that you'll find on YouTube. And if, if you're not familiar with the activity, I guarantee it will change you because you're going to see some outstanding musicians doing things that you didn't know were possible. So go check that out. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me when I'm live so we can talk about Cowboy Bebop, its music. We can talk about drum lines, drum and bugle core, whatever you want. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below, as well as my Discord. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next upload. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.